again. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 12 by 24 inch canvas. Color Art Affiliate. We'll be using some Color Art colors, prism pours, primary elements, blingets, or some variation on that theme. This is Sherwin Williams Latex in... Wow, I'm getting to the end. <laughs> Rowan Williams latex and satin finish and I'm going to run a little bit of it around the edge and hope that my pillow in the middle is deep enough and big enough to spread out to the edge and fully utilize what I'm putting down as a conveyance really hoping I'm going to tip it a little bit anyway. Thinking about going right up the center. So that's covered. That's covered. This is covered. And that's covered. And that's probably got more paint on it than I need right now. So, whatever I've got left, I'm going to put in there. And give it a bit of a tip. And I see that thing that does not belong. And it's got to go. I like to have a nice deep pillow, but I also like it to get a little closer to the edges. I just did a painting where I did not use enough pillow paint. And I had to go around the edges and fill in. And it wasn't all that much fun. So I'm going to use Mine Gold. Chantilly Lace, both prism pours. I don't know what that thing was, but I saw it stop my stream. Yeah, it's a big thing too. That needed to go away. So this is a golden product. This is Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. It's expensive and worth every single penny. And I have been wanting to just be willful today, so I'm going to just use the colors that I like. And the Jasmine is one of my favorites. And this is Rhapsody Rose. This is some Midnight Shadow. I think I'm going to introduce a little bit of the Saffron. I don't know if I'll be able to tell the difference between it and the Nickel Azo Gold, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, so do I want a little bit more? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Wild Orchid. And then I'm going to do something I haven't done for a long time. And I'm going to use my spatula that I'm going to wipe off first that I should have just thrown in the bucket. That's what paint pants are for, I think. All right, so I'm going that way, so I'm going to put my paint on this way. Contemplating some boom gel. Yeah, I think it's going to be the teal. Yes, I'm dripping on my canvas. I want to scrape the rest of that right off, and I can. I 
see no reason why not to try it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be wiping it off somewhere else. So, I'm going to throw those tools in the bucket. Grab a couple of palette knives and scoop and drag. And I'm thinking right now that I might want to go ahead and grab some black cell activator, put a little bit more of it into that white. So that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Excuse my frog in my throat. And then go back to scooping and dragging. I do have a little bit of transfer paint in a pan. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So when I scoop, I pull up. Make sure everybody knows you need to release the pressure surface tension. Sorry about my head. I can feel myself hitting my impedance. I don't know how far I want to go. <coughs> I know I probably want to steal some paint though. If I slow down I can keep more of the paint on my palette knife. of interested. That's pretty cool. I might want to steal some of this color. Put it right down here. put some spirals in or I might want to just steal some more color. Just to break up that heavy heavy blue. I really love this down here. Makes me want to steal some of it and leave the rest. See if I can steal a little bit of it. Makes me want to grab a little bit of pillow paint. Pull up. My theory is if I grab a little bit of pillow paint on my palette knife that I'll be able to shed more paint off the palette knife. This is so cool and I'm afraid I'm going to lose everything down there on this end. Pull up. I have taken to stealing copious amounts of paint from places like that. 
Now what do I want to do? I want to steal something beautiful. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to like it up here better. At least I hope so. I got green from the, I believe from the Quinacridone Nicolazo gold, along with the blue. I'm going to have to think about doing something now. And I think it's time to contemplate a skewer. A little spin. Usually they work better than that. That'll all go off the end. That may or may not stay. As of all those probably disappear. All right, I'm just going to do it. Who knows what it's going to be like. I have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> Evidently, there's plenty of paint on there. It's kind of looking dragony. Wow, that's different. I like different though. I want to grab my other barrier, the one that will keep me from getting painted on. And where did I hide it on myself? Wow. Okay. That's bizarre. I didn't think I moved it that far out of my studio. Let's go again. Like in that funky, funky rounded shape down at one end. That's, oh wow. That's definitely cool. That's very cool. I wish I didn't have to keep spinning, but I, I'm going to keep spinning because I see that there's opportunity to spread the paint in a more even layer. Okay, so please give me a thumbs up and I will definitely shimmer this one at you and uh, I'll be sharing my paint pouring recipes with you underneath show more and also under show more you're going to find the link tree and the 20% off coupon code for color art that is fantastic wow I love this <laughs> this is a little thin over here but otherwise I think we're good to go I need to steal a little bit of paint for right there and then I'm going to be happy if I have an edge to touch up or something, I'm cool with that. I'm so good with that. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I'm completely discombobulated. Thank you for your kind words and your comments that keep my morale boosted. I'm going to grab some of this paint right here with my little acetate tool and put it into position because I've got a little gap there in that blue. And I can use the same tool right over here in another little gap because if you don't tell somebody they won't know so long as it's the same thickness loving all those cells loving these colors this is bizarre and cool very very cool all right I'm not gonna finish I'm not gonna finish fixing my edges now I'm gonna shimmer at you Tell you guys, I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida for a little while longer, maybe. Hopefully. I do sell my artwork. I have, like I said, a link tree with Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. And is that centralized? Not really. I can move that back a little bit. 
and adjust. So that is just awesome. And I'll be doing something similar to that again. I love the blue and the orange together. I love all these colors together. It's, it's pretty much a rainbow cacophony of color and movement and cool shapes. And I will be torching briefly, even though torching is not always recommended for pillow paint. I will be torching anyway. <laughs> and I will be looking for bubbles with my skewer and skewering them. So, um, what did I not tell you guys? I have 29 lists of 100 videos and uh, they're also organized by topic and genre. And if you'd like something, just ask me. Please leave me a comment. If you have questions, you're welcome and encouraged. My Amazon link is on my link tree. And you can find my two books there. Because I can in Unlimited Possibilities. They are the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube. I'm loving the Chantilly lace in there. It's so beautiful and so shimmery. I will be taking the time to cover my edges where they're not completely covered. And I have had pretty good luck. As long as it's as thin as it is, it'll be okay. I got one little area down here that needs a little extra help. Just a little. All right, so I love you guys. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Thank you to my new members enjoying the 110 plus uh, videos in the members only library. And thank you for the donations through PayPal, the icon being on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. Do not forget that there is a 20% off color art coupon code for Prison Pores, Primary Elements and other things at Color Art. And there is also a 10% off coupon code for Pixel Paint Designs for Boom Gel and Australian Flow Troll and Pebio Paints and lots more worth checking out. So I love you guys dearly. You inspire the heck out of me, obviously. I will see you anon. Whatever I forgot, you'll see in another video. I do actually reproduce everything that I have photographs of of videos at Spring Clothing, Pinterest, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Pixels.com, Fire Night America, Society6, Le Gallerist, and uh, if there's another place, I'm forgetting. But uh, they're all on the link tree. I have a couple websites there too. Um, Whatever I've forgotten, you'll see in another video. I posted 10, 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the one. <laughs> I love you guys. Take care of each other. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I'll see you in on.